This week's Jewish terminology word is, Beit Knesset. Shalom children of God. Welcome back to Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study. Today we are going to go over our Jewish terminology for the week. This week's word is, Beit Knesset. Beit Knesset While studying one of my suggested reading books for conversation to Orthodox Judaism, I came to a chapter entitled, The Synagogue, where Jews assemble chapter 9 page 241 of the book, To Be a Jew by Rabbi Hayim Alevi Dinan. The book in general is in my opinion filled with a wealth of knowledge that many can gain from reading, reviewing, and or studying a Jewish way of life. In keeping with the word chosen for this week, it so happens one of my favorite times of day are the times when the only care I have in the world is to sit down and study Torah, Jewish history, or some Jewish religious learning. So color me happy when it came across this chapter and this word. Fact, I wasn't that always a lover of learning. As a student and lover of learning, I didn't find my passion in learning until my 30s. In high school I loved sports and hanging out with family and friends. I did some college trying to find my way, but didn't finish my degree. I did however love learning military topics and ways while in the Marines. I tried my best to take up every course of training I could while I served, but that was my young adult's years into my mid-30s. Then something changed. I started asking God how could I love him better and be a better person. Not only for myself, him, but for and to others. I can't quite explain what took place, but I feel like God blessed be he, started working on me and pointing me towards learning of him more and how to better serve him. After my 30th birthday, I felt a shift. Looking back now, I have a better understanding of what the shift was and was leading me towards truth. Now, I would love to say I have been the top of the class student in learning of God, but that would be a lie. I will say, this process has been a slow, slow, slow process of learning, then relearning, then correcting and removing false teachings of Rome 325, and now finally being on the right path, Torah. Hashtag thank you. Ha. Shem. I wanted to share my brief journey of learning to love God according to his word and the struggler it has been with others to help others. I think sometimes we can be our own worst and most harsh reviewer. I think sometimes we can also judge ourselves and others by our own capabilities or handicaps. I'm learning to be more gentle with myself and others on this category. What I enjoy about studying, is I can take my time reading, researching, and in prayer seeking truth and wisdom of Hashem full of glory and truth. I image if I lived near a house of study. That would be my number one spot. I would pack a kosher lunch and some tea and some coffee, head over to the local Beit Knesset, find my favorite seat, and dive in for hours. For right now this goal is a dream, but God willing a dream that will be fulfilled very very soon. My next goal. Well. Hashtag soon God willing soon. So what is the definition of Beit Knesset? The synagogue, where Jews assemble chapter 9 page 241 of the book, to be a Jew by Rabbi Hayim Alevi Danan states the definition as, a house of assembly, or house of gathering. The Greek term for a Jewish house of worship from whence we derive the word synagogue is in fact a literal translation of Beit Knesset. This week's Jewish terminology word and definition is defined by the JPS Dictionary of Jewish Words by Joyce Eisenberg and Ellen Skinnick 2001 Copyright First Edition. Beit Knesset Hebrew, Beit Knesset, literally house of study. A religious school or synagogue Hebrew school. I can't help but thinking what a beautiful gift to be able to attend such a place. I think I would feel like Belle in a wonderful castle filled with the most wonderful books. I think I have found my fairy tale. Ha 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 ha. Hyperlink to art credit. I'm not paid to endorse nor affiliated. This book is from my personal library. I purchased this book from thriftbooks.com. You can get your own personal low price copy using the link below. thriftbook.com. Remember to keep up to date with us via our website at Marie Speaks God's Grace.live for all our blog and social media links. Season 5 of the Bible study is on break until January 3, 2023. Please feel free to catch up on the Bible studies and other videos we have uploaded on YouTube. And Rumble. So like, heart, rumble, subscribe and or share for next class. Until next time, with God's beautiful mercy and grace we will see each other soon. Marie.